Hi everyone, let us look at chapter 4, Application of Differentiation 4.2 Extremum Problem. Learning outcomes are find the stationary points, identify minimum and maximum points by using the first and second derivative test. What is a stationary number, stationary value and stationary point? See here you have a curve y equals to fx. A stationary point of a function is a point where the derivative is equal to 0. So we have here if you differentiate f prime at point c equals to 0, this is where you have a stationary point. So graphically, you can see that this corresponds to a point on the curve where you have the tangent to the curve is a horizontal line. Okay, so when x is equal to c, that is a stationary number. This is where x equals to c and we call this as a stationary number. While fc is a stationary value, this is basically the y value correspond to the x value. So for the stationary point, it is in coordinate form. c, fc, the x value and the y value. So to determine the maximum or minimum point, we have two tasks that we can do. It's either you do first derivative test or second derivative test. For the first derivative test, you have four steps. First, you need to find stationary point. How? When you have dy dx equals to zero. Second step, you need to choose a test number between the interval you determine in step one. Next, you need to evaluate your f prime c. So your conclusion at step 4, if your f prime c is greater than 0, you can conclude that the function is increasing on the interval. Why? If your f prime c is less than 0, you can conclude that the function is decreasing. So if I give you a figure, first the function is increasing. Let's say we put a positive sign, then the function is decreasing. Let's say we put negative sign. If increasing and decreasing. So as you can see, you have here a maximum point. In other example, let's say you see a negative sign first, decreasing first, and then a positive sign increasing. So decreasing and then increasing. So you can have here a minimum point. These are the two possibilities that you might see. Okay, for the second derivative test, you also have four steps here. First, you need to find dy dx and equate that to zero, you will get the stationary point. Next, you need to test a number. You need to choose a test number between the interval. You need to evaluate second derivative, differentiate second time. So you have three outcomes. If your second derivative value is greater than zero, so you can say that fx has a relative minimum at x equals to c. If your second derivative value is less than zero, then you can say that fx has a relative maximum at x equals to c. If your f prime x, sorry, if your second derivative is equals to c, equals to zero, then you conclude that fx has no relative extremum at x equals to c. Now let us look at example for more brief explanation. Example 1, I'm going to use method 1, first derivative test. Find the stationary points of the curve y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 4 and investigate their nature by using first and second derivative test. So let us start with first derivative test. So we need to find stationary point. 
Starting with the curve we have here, y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 4. Differentiate this, you will get dy dx equals to 2x minus 4. And as we know, at stationary point, dy dx is equals to 0. So you equate to x minus 4 equals to 0, rearrange, you will get x equals to 2. By the way, this is what we call stationary number. Okay, next, if you have the value of x equals to 2, you can find the value of y you will get here. Substitute the value of x equals to 2 into the curve equation, you get the value of y equals to 0. This is where we call it as stationary value. So from here, you can have stationary point as 2, 0. Next, what you need to do is you can test the value. Okay, let's say we are going to use first derivative test. We have the information, stationary point is 2, 0. And our dy dx is equal to 2x minus 4. What you need to do for the first derivative test is you need to construct a table. This is more like the sign table that we have learned before. So what you need to write down here is interval. Any x value chosen between the interval dy dx and your conclusion okay so now our stationary number that we are going to test is 2 so you write down 2 if you have more stationary point you can expand the table so the interval will be from negative infinity until 2 while the other side will be from 2 until infinity so you need to choose a test value between the interval from negative infinity to 2. You might choose 1 and the other one side between 2 to infinity, you can choose 3 or any number greater than 2. So you test this value 1, you substitute into your dy dx. So 2 times 1 minus 4, you will get negative 2. So you can just write down the sign negative and then you test the value of 3, substitute into dy dx, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 minus 4 is 2, positive. So you write down the sign is enough, positive. So if negative, meaning to say decreasing, that is your conclusion. If positive, meaning to say increasing. So as you can see, you have a minimum point here, decreasing then increasing. Minimum point. So what conclusion can you say y is decreasing on the interval negative infinity to okay decreasing on the interval negative infinity to and increasing on the interval to infinity so from here you can conclude that 2 0 is a relative minimum point okay next let us look at the same example but using second method which is second derivative test so our first step will be same, find stationary point starting with y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 2, dy dx you will get 2x minus 4. At stationary point, dy dx equals to 0. So 2x minus 4 equals to 0, you rearrange, you will get the value of x equals to 2. So if x equals to 2, you will get y equals to 0. So stationary point is 2, 0. Okay, now what is second derivative test? From the equation that we have, y equals to x squared minus 4x plus 4. First derivative, dy dx equals to 2x minus 4. Second derivative, meaning to say you need to differentiate second time. So when you differentiate second time, you will get the value here is 2. Actually, you need to test the value at stationary point. Just now we have... 2, 0. But then here, you cannot substitute the value of x because you already got the value 2 which is greater than 0. So you can conclude here 2, 0 is a relative minimum when you score, when you get the d squared y dx squared greater than 0. 
Okay, with that example, now you may try exercise 4.2, question number 1A until E. Please submit this as a proof of your attendance. Thank you.